Okay, so today I'm going to be watching the first episode of Pokemon Horizon. And I'm pretty excited to see how the new characters are written and also how they, I guess in the manner of speaking, how they stack up to the old characters. Especially the new main character, how she compares to... Sorry, just trying to fix my glasses. Um, how she compared to Ash Ketchum. Uh, I'm heard that she's a pretty good character in her own right. So I'm pretty excited. And I'm also pretty excited to listen to how... How the English actors will portray these new characters. So, we'll just have to wait and see. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited. And, let me just start the, the song now. Oh, the Adventure is calling. Just waiting for you to go out and find it. This world has so much beauty, joy, and excitement to offer. And you will discover, this world is filled with Pokemon. Your future awaits. Go out there and find it. Hey, I found it! Route 22! The voice actor sounds pretty good so far. Hey! Okay, so this kind of sucks, but my microphone went off. While I was recording, and also uh, when I was recording the reaction, the audio of not only my microphone but also the screen capture of the of the actual episode, which kept on going in and out. So I'm guess I'm gonna have to do a voiceover. I my apologies. I'm gonna try to to fix this before the next episode and hopefully the next episode will be a lot better also I'm trying to avoid um, Pokemon and also Netflix from blocking my reactions so I hopefully with the Pokemon Horizon series logo uh, it, on the screen it will make it so that they won't block any of my, on my episode reaction, or this video in particular. And yeah, but about this video, uh, this episode, I'm sorry. The, uh, I think that, that this episode was a pretty good introduction. I do like all the voice actors, like, I was saying beforehand, I think they were they're doing a pretty good job. I don't know who the voice actor for the main female lead is, but I do think that she does a pretty good job with um all of her make all of her traits of the character. Like this is a character that's supposed to be pretty shy and also pretty reserved. She also tends to overthink things a lot. So and I think that the voice actor did a good job at portraying it so it doesn't come off as being annoying. I haven't heard the Japanese voice actor but I'm pretty sure that she, the Japanese voice actor would would do a good job as well. Some might say even better than the English dub, but as far as the English dub goes, I think this is a pretty good dubbing. Uh, and yeah, the overall, pretty good episode, good uh, introduction. I, I think that the way that they develop the characters, particularly. Fincantito and the main character, I, I'm forgetting her name at this moment, sorry, I, I, it's been a while since I watched it. 
I find I think that the 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 friendship of those two characters feel pretty realistic, and also I do like how we do kind of get a sense that it's it's a so slower process for them to to build a friendship. And I, even though it does take only one episode for them to build kind of a bond, um, I do think that I feel a lot more better pace or a lot more slower pace than something like with Al Kassam and Al Kassam. It, it took one episode for Ash and Pikachu to also build a friendship and to become friends. But it, it was more quick than um, this one. And I think the reason why because in, with Ash Kassam it was pretty much this one event that caused them to become friends. With the, I forgot it was Rattles or the name of the Pokemon. I forgot which one it was. And see, this is where I, this is when I might have bumped into the microphone and I actually turned it off. And I have my teddy bear of Pinkatito because I wanted to represent Pinkatito. Sorry, I was being a, a dork when I was when I was recording this. But, yeah, I didn't think that... I didn't think that the, um, that's something interesting and you want to compare the, the two main characters and how they started out their relationship with their starters. I, I think that's something where... Almost every single scene or every single scene is exactly the opposite. As I'm going to mention the end, the, the, the new female character, he is pretty shy and reserved compared to Ash Kassam, who was very outgoing. He was very expressive. I think that even in one episode when um, when he had to do a test or something, it, it was in black and white. And it mentioned that when they were saying to him what he had to do and everything, he was just very gun hole and he started to yell. Uh, I don't, it's been a long time since I watched that clip. And I haven't really watched black and white like that. But, I think that's a pretty nice thing to describe as Kassam and his character. And so, yeah, I, I think that it works well because if you want to give Pokemon this new fresh start, you're going to have to make them different and but still leave enough for older fans to kind of make it no make it so that older fans don't feel as isolated. So and I just think they did a pretty good job with that. Like I said, and you could draw a parallel to how she didn't really have a good relationship with Mikasito. Ash didn't really have a good relationship with Pikachu at the beginning, but as time goes on, they're gonna be very close. And, but that's just one thing. I think the West is pretty, it feels pretty new, where you never really saw Ash in the classroom until Sun and Moon. And 
that's what makes the mini so it felt a lot more fresh compared to to maybe other seasons of the original show. And the way that she also feels friendship is also pretty different as well. And but anyway, I just I am curious to see how they're gonna continue to build the character and how many to do with the Katito and and also that but that pretty much it. I there's not much I could say about this this episode other than it was pretty good. I do like the action. The character designs are also very good and it's pretty unique. And I just think they do a good job at standing out. Uh, I particularly like the design of the dude that has the Pikachu. And he also has the Charizard. I don't know if we see his Pikachu in this episode. We might see it in the next episode. But I really do like his design. I think um, as of right now, his is my favorite design. I also like the, the, the guy that you can see on screen right now with the white and black hair. I think it's pretty cool. And, um, and as for the... The main character, I also do like her design. I like how she has the real blue under her hair. And also how she has a little clip and everything. The color schemes and everything are very nice with all the characters. But yeah, anyway, hopefully I can fix all the problems. And also, I am planning on doing live reaction to other series, such as the spin-off for The Seven Deadly Sins, and I'm also thinking about doing one for X-Men 97, and this one called Stray Dogs, this anime called Stray Dogs, and... Tokyo Adventures is another anime that I would like to do a live reaction to. Um, if you guys have any other suggestions to with anime I should make a live reaction to, please let me know in the comments and please leave a like, comment, and subscribe at the end of this video because I don't believe I and the outro I don't believe I said that and also and you guys know how what I can do so that the audio that they bug out on me uh, please let me know for but yeah um Going back to this episode, uh, I can't say this enough. Good episode, great episode, and I hopefully it keeps getting better from here. And hopefully, I can get better with making live reactions. I'm also planning on doing other types of videos. I do. Plan on doing a review on X Men, Wolverine, and the X Men. I'm pretty soon. I don't know if it's gonna be the next video after this or or what have you, but yeah, I'm am planning to do it sometime this month. And this, I hope. I hope that this, this video is to your liking and I hope that the, the Netflix and Pokemon don't block my video. I'm doing my best so that it won't block it, but 
I have heard that Pokemon and Netflix are pretty picky when it comes to people using their videos. So, we'll see what happens. When, if I have to edit some more things around, then that's just what I'm going to have to do. Because I don't really have a plan B for this week. And this video is already going to be pretty late. So, yeah, the, the animation is awesome though. I'm, I'm right now looking at the fight and between Charizard and the, the other Pokemon and it looks pretty nice. Oh, sorry, I got distracted by the, by the animation. But yeah, I hope they can keep up the quality of animation the, uh, throughout the series. I'm not sure how many episodes this season or this series going to be. I also don't know if, the, if we're gonna, for next season, we're gonna have a whole bunch of new characters again. So, that's gonna be something interesting. Um, so what's gonna happen as time goes on with Pokemon? And we're gonna do something similar to like Digimon, how they, every new season, they have a new cast. If they're gonna do that going forward or what have you. And I can't wait to see what happens next and what Pokemon is going to do next with the show. Okay, so my microphone just stopped working at one point. I have no idea. I think I might have pressed a button at some point and I thought that I fixed it. But I guess I didn't fix the problem. So I'm just gonna have to do some voiceover work or something. Um, in editing and yeah but for my overall thought I think that Nico if I remember that the main character's name he's a pretty good protagonist so far I do like that not only in gender but also in personality he think the complete opposite of Ask Catum, where Ask Catum was very outgoing, he was very outspoken. Miko is more of a side character, more socially awkward. And I do kind of like that they are trying to make the two characters different. And I think it also makes sense since they want the theory to stand on its own and they don't want to remind the older audience too much of Ascasm. But obviously we have some hints here and there. The fact that this is in Kanto and they mentioned bringing in city and all that. So there, there are hints of the older series or any I could just say there are mods to the older series, but overall, I do really like the episode. I like seeing that her and Spring Katito did start to bond, and it felt pretty natural. I do question how long she has been in school, because if she's going on break, are you talking summer break? Spring break. I don't believe it's fall or winter because it didn't look pretty cold to me. So I'm guessing there's summer or or spring break. So, but so has she has they been together for a year? I have no idea. I have no idea. They didn't they didn't specify that. And I just got that I left my clock the bathroom door open. Sorry about that. But um yeah, so 
overall a good episode. The, the introduction to our new main character was pretty good. And yeah, I can't wait to see how the characters keep on growing and also how they're going to interact with one another. And I can't wait to see more of Miko and Fika Tito. So, overall, pretty good job.